Halloween fans are stupid. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have something a little different than we usually do here on the channel. Now, this is a similar style video to what we've done in the past. However, the subject matter is just a little bit different. So obviously, we've done like reading weird comments or reading mean comments where people just say the most outlandish things or are extremely rude to me for absolutely no reason. But the comments in those videos always come from my own own YouTube videos. They come from my comment section here on YouTube. This one is different because it takes place in a Halloween group over on Facebook. And I'm sure that some of the comments that I've seen have come from different Halloween groups and I'm not just trying to target this one specific Halloween group so I will be leaving their name out because I am active in that group. I use that group to share my videos and I do discuss things with a lot of Halloween fans over there. However, over the last few days I have noticed an explosion of insanely ignorant posts that just make me laugh. So I I figured why not go over to the page and just start reading shit. And before anybody gets their panties in a bunch, let me clarify. I don't think that all Halloween fans are stupid. I don't even think that most Halloween fans are stupid. Every fan base has their little cringy section, some bigger than others. But man oh man have the last few days been rough. I have just noticed stupid post after stupid post after stupid post, all pertaining to Halloween kills. And I also want to clarify because if I don't, I know that there's going to be somebody that just takes this and runs with it. I am not trying to bully anyone. Hence why I won't be using any names, faces will be blurred out, and you guys won't even know exactly what group these posts came from. I'm not doing this to feel better about myself. Oh, what a sad life. You must be being mean to people to feel better about yourself. No, that's not the case. And instead of asking yourself why I'm so mean, maybe you should be asking yourself why posts like these are even allowed. Is this really the direction you want to see the world go in? However, I am trying to do something positive, and I know that a lot of people out there are probably thinking, how? You're just going to be making fun of people for like 10 minutes. Well, let me tell you, it's quite simple. I am taking something with a negative connotation, such as really cancerous posts in a Halloween community, and turning them into something fun for everybody, like a video that you can watch for a couple minutes and get a few giggles out of. So anybody that's going to try to go out of their way to make this video a negative thing and tell me that I'm the worst person in the community and blah, 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 just understand that I'm putting it out there right now. I'm doing this for good. One person makes a dumb post, thousands of people get to laugh about that post. I'm taking something negative and turning it into something positive. Good? Good. Now, let's hop on the PC, get in that group, and start reading some shit. Let's go. All right, I just want to reiterate as we find this group on Facebook that I don't think that all Halloween fans are stupid, and I don't even think that most Halloween fans are stupid. I am a Halloween fan, and I am stupid. However, a lot of my friends are Halloween fans too, and I don't think they are stupid. The title of this video was a joke. Got it? All right. All right, let's just start scrolling. Okay, four hours ago, this was posted. Yep, that's a real post in this Halloween kills group. Here's a good one. Now these are some of my favorite and there are a ton of them. Shouldn't Lori last name be Myers instead of Strode? All right, so here's the deal, okay? Uh, you joined a literal Halloween Kills group specifically for this movie, meaning that you somewhat have to know about the series to be in there, right? Wrong. I just couldn't imagine joining like a very specific Mustang group about a very specific year of a Mustang and then saying some silly shit about the engine that's just totally wrong. Like it's very clear from one 2018 and kills that Myers and Lori are not related and they made it a very big point in Halloween 2018 to point that out just for anybody that may have missed it or not understood the retconning of the rest of the movies. They aren't related. How did you make this post? Did you not watch any of those movies? Did you only watch Kills? I'm fucking confused, but these ones are a plenty. They aren't related, guys. Here's a good one. Leaving this group, because we all care that you're leaving this group. Nothing like a good leaving this group post. That's the most self-important weirdo shit in the world, and I can't believe it's 2021 and people are still doing that. Anyways, leaving this group 
all anyone wants to do is shit on this movie, which is not true. There are way, way more posts of people saying that they love this movie than shitting on it. A true horror fan or fan of Halloween would understand and appreciate what goes into making a movie. I highly doubt that just because people don't enjoy the movie like they thought they would, that they don't really understand what goes into making a movie. I'm pretty sure that no one in that group would be capable of making this movie, which is exactly why David Gordon Green and Danny McBride and John Carpenter and everybody else that was actually involved with the movie are the ones that made the movie. We can still not personally like it. Imagine if this type of rule was applied to food. You just don't understand what goes into growing these crops, harvesting them, getting everything prepared, making it a food, packaging it up, getting it to the stores. That's okay, I still don't like the way it tastes. Anyways, I've seen a lot of shitty horror movies that get so many sequels and I'm pretty sure most of it, if not near all, have a little bit of comedy and humor, meaningless nudity, sex, or getting high. All right, this one's great too. I wonder, will they bring back Lori's son, John Tate, from H2O, and other daughter, Jamie? Also, I want to know how the nurse Marion returned when she was killed in Halloween H2O. Imagine how goddamn confused this person is watching anything, ever. Like, imagine them sitting down and watching the Halloween series from start to finish. Goddamn, their head has to be close to exploding. This is making my head want to explode. Again, you joined a literal Halloween Kills group with like no knowledge of the franchise at all. Why would you even join the group? How is this stuff enjoyable for you? Just imagine being confused by this. God damn. Oh boy, we have a return poster. I have a question, y'all. So they remade Halloween Kills when he was Lil because the very first one I saw was when he was young and he killed that boy after school because they jumped him in the bathroom, so they remade the one from when he was like six? What? Wow, what a confusing post. I think I know what she's trying to say, but the delivery here is just atrocious and also, again, what? Okay, uh, what was the point of the mental patient being chased down? How? The fuck did you even join this group? How did you get on a computer or a phone, make a Facebook account, and join this group? Whether or not you liked that part of the story in Halloween Kills, how the fuck did you miss the point of it? Here's a strange one. How's this for an idea, Halloween into the Michaelverse where all the timelines merge and all incarnations of Michael are released on Haddonfield where all the final girls have to team up to fight them all? All, 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 Weird delivery and just a really, really bad idea. Just a terrible idea, I'm sorry. That's a bad idea. It seems like the only thing that these people are more afraid of than Michael Myers are periods. Hmm. Why nobody could shoot in this movie, lol. Why nobody could type in this group. Okay, so I'm glad that no one reacted to this one at all, and I'm sad that I'm even giving it attention right now, but wow, the cringe is real. When Karen had Michael's mask at the end, I would have teabagged it. All right, I'm sure that you guys are starting to understand by this point, but let's do a few more and then we'll call it just to really drive the point home. All I got to say is Michael Myers was piss in this movie. The dude was just piss. He wasn't mad, he was piss. Here's another shaking my head. What I want to know is where Stephen Lloyd, Michael Myers' son, I think he will come out after all said and done with Halloween ends, that would be pretty cool, keep it going. Wow, what a sentence, also, Again, how are these movies even enjoyable to you if you are that unaware of what is happening? Where is Stephen Lloyd, Michael Myers' son? You know, the son from Halloween 6. A completely different timeline that was most definitely erased and made very, very clear by Halloween 2018. It does not exist. Instead of wondering where Michael's son is from an alternate universe, I'm wondering where your periods are because what a run-on sentence. It's just a dot on the keyboard. That's all it is. You're typing the other stuff, why not type the period? All right, last one, because I can't take it anymore. You should see the look on their faces when I walk into Spirit Halloween and ask them if they sell Halligan bars. Wished they had employees who actually know as much as I do about Halloween. Imagine walking into Spirit Halloween knowing that they don't sell Halligan bars and asking if they sell Halligan bars. I bet you feel really cool, middle-aged man. You sure did pull one over on that 17-year-old seasonal worker that's just trying to get a paycheck. What a cool dude, bro. Yikes. 
All right, so that is going to do it for this video. If this was something that you guys enjoyed and got a kick out of like I did, please let me know. I can definitely do way more of these videos because imagine this, there is no shortage of content over on this page. So yeah, all in good fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to punctuation. And we'll see you guys later.